Welcome to the MD Edge Daily News for Monday, August 27th. I'm your host, Nick Andrews. Today, a live attenuated flu vaccine gets the nod for the 2018-2019 flu season. PCSK9 inhibition helps patients with metabolic syndrome the most, and later, breastfeeding, lowered risk of stroke later in life. But we begin today with news from the annual Congress of the European Society of Cardiology in Munich. Lorcaserin is the first weight loss drug proven to have cardiovascular safety. This is according to Dr. Aaron Bohula, who is a cardiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Dr. Bohula reports that the results of the Camellia TIMI-61 trial include data from over 10,000 patients. In the trial, the primary safety endpoint was a composite score of cardiovascular death, MI, or stroke. She and her colleagues report that the composite scores were nearly identical between patients who took lorcaserin and patients in the placebo group. Dr. Bohula spoke with our Mitchell Zoller at ESC 2018 on the importance of a safe weight loss drug. Overall, there's not a lot of use of pharmacologic weight loss agents in the U.S., and I think a lot of that is based on fear of the historical experience, which is they were not safe. Uh, and so now having a drug that is proven safe, I suspect will lead more people to, to reach for a pharmacologic agent like lorcaserin. The latest seasonal influenza vaccine recommendations from the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices are now out, and they contain several key updates that will impact clinical practice in the upcoming flu season. Most notably, that live attenuated influenza vaccine is an option. This follows two consecutive flu seasons in which the committee recommended that the vaccine not be used. The ACIP also updated its recommendations for individuals with a history of egg allergy and describe the vaccine strains chosen for the upcoming season. The recommendations also include a detailed update on the changes in age indications for Afluria quadrivalent and Fluorix quadrivalent that have been made since publication of the previous guidelines. Dr. Lisa Gorskoff is a researcher with the National Center on Immunization and Respiratory Diseases at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. Dr. Gorskoff says that to avoid missed opportunities for vaccination, Providers should offer vaccines during routine healthcare visits and hospitalizations. The recommendations were published in Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, Recommendations and Reports, and are available for you to read at mdh.com or by clicking the link in the description. And from ECS 2018, a new analysis from the four-year study shows that PCSK9 inhibition helps patients with metabolic syndrome the most. PCSK9 is proprotein convertase subtilisin kexkin type 9. The analysis of more than 27,000 participants shows that patients with the PCSK9 inhibitor evolucumab had a statistically significant 17% relative risk reduction compared with placebo. In the study's secondary endpoint, combined rate of cardiovascular disease, death, non-fatal MI, and non-fatal stroke, patients with metabolic syndrome who were treated with evolucumab had a statistically significant 24% relative risk reduction compared with placebo. Evolucumab also appeared to provide a relative risk reduction for patients who did not have metabolic syndrome for both the primary and secondary endpoints. However, these data did not reach statistical significance. Dr. Prakresh Didwania is a professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. He says that evolucumab was still effective in patients without metabolic syndrome, but it was of lesser magnitude. He also notes that these data help identify the patients who benefit the most from treatment with an expensive drug. Indeed, based on list prices of annual cost of treatment with a PCSK9 inhibitor such as evolucumab or a second approved drug from this class, such as Alirikumab, is roughly $14,000 according to previous research published in JAMA. And finally today, postmenopausal women who breastfed their children had a lower risk of stroke compared with women who had children but never breastfed. Non-black Hispanic women showed a statistically significant stronger association between breastfeeding and lower risk. This is according to results from the Prospective Women's Health Initiative observational study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association. Researchers evaluated data from over 80,000 women 
who were aged between 50 and 80 years at baseline. They found that around 58% of these women had breastfed and that about 3.5% had a stroke within an average of 13 years of follow-up. The investigators report that there was a 23% lower risk of stroke among all postmenopausal women who breastfed compared with those who never breastfed. Women who breastfed between one month and six months carried a 19% lower risk of stroke. Dr. Lisette Jacobson is a researcher in the Department of Preventative Medicine and Public Health at the University of Kansas in Wichita. Dr. Jacobson says that breastfeeding is one of many factors that could potentially protect against stroke. Others include getting adequate exercise, choosing healthy foods, not smoking, seeking treatment if needed to maintain healthy blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar. And that concludes this edition of the MD Edge Daily News on a Monday. You can find links to these stories in the podcast description. Don't forget, MD Edge is reporting all week long from the 2018 Annual Congress of the European Society of Cardiology in Munich. You can find the latest updates at MD Edge Cardiology News. For all of us here at MD Edge, I'm Nick Andrew.